Hi, how are you today? Have you started building your own trading system? Did you see my post on how we as responsible traders do our buying decision making? That is just part of a trading system. We'll talk about it here in my TRT POV. Welcome to the Responsible Traders POB. These are my notes, my own additional research and studies on the topic that I posted, and my personal observations and opinions that I am sharing with you to further enhance our knowledge and understanding. Some of these were previously posted on the Responsible Trader thread of Stock Market Filipinas. This is the latest version of previous post I made. Some of these plus further explanations and discussions will be appearing in my forthcoming book, The Responsible Trader. We are now on Module 12, Building a Trading System. First of all, congratulations. If you have gone this far, and really absorb all the lessons and the TRT POVs that I have shared with you. You're really on your way to becoming a responsible trader without even knowing it. Watching and learning from these 12 modules require no less than an iron will and a strong determination and I would like to commend all of you for doing that. A trading system is simply a group of specific rules or parameters for conducting a trade. The process of building a trading system has been adequately described in the MCTA video. Before we continue, just a friendly reminder. What I'm going to discuss in the remaining part of this presentation is just an example to partially explain the responsible trader's trading system. The example will cover taking one position only, averaging up or down, and full details will be presented in my forthcoming book, The Responsible Trader. The charts, analysis, worksheet, and other data are for discussion purposes only and should not be taken as a solicitation, recommendation, promotion, or endorsement of any security. Trading is a personal thing and the rules I've established may not be applicable in your case. I may or may not have the stock I am discussing. What works for me might not work for you. Always trade at your own risk level that is tolerable to you. I cannot think of a better way of summarizing everything that we learned than to share with you how I applied all these lessons in my actual trading. For me, buying is easy, selling at a profit is twice as difficult, and selling at a loss is three times harder. Everything becomes very difficult if you do not have a trading plan. I have put everything we have learned in one worksheet, the responsible traders trading system. Part A of the worksheet is for the trading rules for both buying and selling where I have indicated my buy trigger list and sell trigger list for both selling for profit and for cutting losses. Part B of the worksheet is for the trading plan where I fill up all the data I need for decision making. This covers both the essential fundamental and technical data. This portion is designed to make automatic computations as I will explain later. Part C is the trading lag for taking notes while trading. You can make observations about the stock and about the trade as it progresses. Part D 
is for performance review, where I classify the trade and indicate areas for improvement. We usually start the trading month by doing a review of our trades. We go over each worksheet for a good stock we traded and indicate result on part D of our trading system. We classify them into four. Best trade. Trades I entered with a trading plan based on a high probability setup fully implemented and I made money. I carefully mapped out trend lines, support and resistance and made sure that I observed my trading rules. Trading plan is fully implemented and I made money by not allowing greed or fear enter my trading decision. Good trade. Trades I made with a trading plan which I fully implemented. I took profits when my target price was hit and cut losses when my stop loss was hit. Whether I made money or not is irrelevant. What is important is sticking to my trading plan because it helps me develop good trading habits. Bad trade. Trades I entered with a trading plan but I failed in its implementation. These trades are where I thought it would be an exception to my rule. Price suddenly breaks resistance with big volume and based on books, he a sign of good trade. I decided not to take profits based on my trading plan. However, price also went down as fast as it went up. I decided to hold on hoping that the price would bounce back at least to my target price. The waiting went on and on until I decided to become an investor instead of a trader. Worst trade? Trades I entered without a trading plan and I lost money. All the habits refused to die and I sometimes entered trades based on an impulse, a gut feel, a nose I read, and I suddenly want to enter a trade regardless of entry price, thinking that I might not be able to get in before the stock flies. Examples are a new development in a company, declaration of dividends, etc. After the performance review, we analyze the index and the sectors where the stocks we intend to trade belong. Based on our studies and the list of stocks in our daily publication of 10 Smart Money Moves, we have chosen MEG to be our example. MEG belongs to the property sector and our analysis of the property sector is indicated here. As you can see, all the trends are up, the major, the intermediate, and the near-term trend. We also see that the MACD is on golden cross and the histogram is increasing. They are a size above 50, although it is pointing down. Then we analyze the stock itself, MEG. All the trends again, a major, intermediate, and the near term trend are up. The MACD is on Golden Cross and the histogram is increasing. They are a size above 50 and pointing up, showing that there is a very strong trend. We have identified support at 504 and resistance at 543. Continuing with the analysis, we note that the price is above the 20, the 50, and the 200 simple moving averages. We also consider the ADX. We note that the 
positive Ti, the green line, is above the negative Di, the red line, and the ADX is at 25, showing a strong trend. Based on our analysis, we can now start checking whether Meg meets the criteria we have set in our trading rules. Market conditions, PSE index is positive. This gets a no because last Friday, the index closed lower than the previous day. The industry sector is in an uptrend and positive on the day of trade. RSI industry is above 50. Yes, the criteria is met, so we give it a score of 1. The stock is trading more than 5 million previous to day of trade. Yes, the stock is in second stage, it is an uptrend. Yes, the stock is on golden cross. Yes, strong volume on break bomb resistance. Yes, stock is bouncing off or is near 20 or 50 day SMA. And trading about the 200 SMA, yes. The MACD is on Golden Cross and histogram is increasing, yes. ADX is 25 or more. And above the plus, the positive DI and the minus uh, DI, yes. RSI is above 50 and hooking up or is making an uptrend, yes. And we don't need this because we're not bottom fishing. So, we get a total score of 9, equivalent to 90%. To confirm the buy decision, you only need 80%. So, Meg more than meets the target percentage. Since Meg has passed our trading rules, we now prepare our trading plan. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to fill up all of this data from the top 10 smart money moves, a regular publication of responsibletrader.com. All the fundamental data we're going to get from call, except this one, one year return, this should be taken from Bloomberg. And then, after filling up all of this data, there will be automatic computations and we'll use today's scenarios for what-if analysis. In order to have complete information for a trading plan, let us use our Fibonacci tool for establishing possible replacement points that would serve as support and also for validating the figures automatically computed by our worksheet. So, we draw the Fibonacci retracement starting from this swing low to this swing high. We get retracement point of 531 at 38.2%, 525 at 50% and by 20 at 61.8%. This is our completed trading plan. Let us go over the important figures one by one. For the fundamental data, we can compute this ourselves or we can get all of this data from the website of CTSEC Online. The same thing for the fair value of 5.86. For the 31.37 return, we can get this from Bloomberg. 
Then let's go to the technical data. All of these figures can be taken from the top 10 smart money moves that we are regularly publishing. So filling up all of this data, we now indicate the type of trade that we intend to make. It is a swing trade. So this will give us a risk reward ratio of 1 is to 5. Since we are limiting a risk to 2%, this will give us a risk amount of 11 centavos. For a position size of 20,000 pesos at a buying price of 5.47, this will give us an estimated shares of 3,656. However, since the board lot is 100, this will give us an actual shares of 3,600. After inputting all of this data on the technical side, all of these figures will be automatically computed by the worksheet, giving you the gain or loss for every exit price that is indicated. For our estimates and computations, we can use this portion for our what-if scenarios. If we estimate, for example, the exit price at 560 after buying it at 547, this will give us this much gain. At 570, this much gain. 585, this much gain. If we put a target of 6 pesos, this will give us this much gain and we can also play with our stop loss since we have seen that it can retrace at 5 pesos and 31 centavos. We can adjust the stop loss to that level and of course it will increase our stop loss from 608.47 to 789.17. Just one word of caution though, trading is always based on probabilities. No matter how good your analysis, no matter how good your trading plan and your worksheet looks, there is no guarantee that the figures we set are going to be attained. The market is always right and you should always be able to adjust your plans based on actual market conditions. There you have it, everything in one piece. You have your trading rules, trading plan, trading lag, and performance review all in one. I have designed the system in such a way that you can modify the trading rules and adapt it based on your personal needs. This worksheet will be included as part of the book I'm writing, and a soft copy will be emailed to you when you email to me a copy of the official receipt of the book once published. We will negotiate for the book to be made available to the leading bookstores. However, if negotiations do not push through, we will make sure that you will be able to order the book through our website. This will be our last TRTPOB on the MCTA modules. We will be releasing other TRTPOBs on other trading topics in the future. For the meantime, we would like to say thank you for being with us for the past 12 lessons. With everything you have learned, we are sure that you will no longer become victims of high person bashers and make trading decisions on your own based on sound judgment. Until then, take care and we wish you the best in your learning journey and good luck on all your trades.